Right now, thousands of people are still stuck trying to get on a flight after a software update crashed computers around the world Friday. According to FlightAware, more than a thousand flights in and out of the U.S. were canceled yesterday as a result, and this morning, already hundreds. Several major industries were impacted by the worldwide IT outage, and Cleo Green joins us in studio with where things stand right now. If you're one of those folks who's trying to get on a flight, you are not having it today. <laughs> yeah, good morning, Carrie. You know, it is day three of fallout from this global tech outage. We know businesses, hospitals, government agencies, telecommunication agencies, and of course the airports were knocked offline, but it's really the airports, the carriers that are taking the hardest hit of them all, really trying to play catch up. Now I pulled a flight where is misery map here and you can see there's quite a few delays and cancellations this morning. In fact, just yesterday, more than 1,500 U.S. flights were canceled. For a third straight day, more than 8,500 were delayed. Now, upwards of 1,000 of those cancellations were from Delta. They just canceled about 400 flights this morning as well. Now, they're taking a harder hit compared to other airlines because crew tracking tools were affected and unable to process the number of changes triggered by that system outage. So here's the deal. Another issue for other carriers, airlines have computers, right, at all of the gates, thousands of gates that need to be individually managed and updated, and that can take some time. Now, new this morning, there's a big warning. Cyber experts and the government say scammers. They're promoting fake recovery websites with malicious software to take advantage of unsuspecting victims that are looking for a fix this morning. Well, here's the deal. CrowdStrike, they did post this to their social media website about 13 hours ago, uh, really just telling people to wait for that update because they are making fixes and to go directly to the website to help you out. Don't click on any zip files. Don't click on any email links that you may see. Avoid phishing as well. So go directly to their website, click on the link, and that will give you the fix, especially if you're a small business that's dealing with uh, still being knocked offline. So a lot to learn here. Still dealing with the fallout. Let's